Hey YouTube, today we're going to talk about my channel becoming monetized. I'm also going to share where I stand after 90 days of starting my 3D printing business. And then we're going to do some maintenance on the Centauri Carbons by greasing the rods. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Will, and I'm a 65-year-old man that's been studying Fusion 360 so I can create my own STL files that I can then use as print-on-demand parts that I can sell on Amazon and other platforms like that. So, welcome to the channel. So, as I said in the beginning, um, we recently got monetized through YouTube. Um, that means that I have reached over a thousand subscribers, which we close to three thousand, and we've gotten over four thousand hours of watch time. And really, it's nothing I did; it's everything that you've done. And I appreciate YouTube so much. And, and when I say YouTube, I know when you look at me, I'm YouTube, but. To me, you're YouTube. Everybody here has a channel. You have a channel. If you have an account with uh, YouTube, you have a little sub, uh, create button right up there, and you can upload uh, a video too. I actually have had YouTube for decades uh, since uh, we couldn't use Napster anymore. But um, yeah, I didn't even think about loading up a, a video and sending it up and being. Uh, uh, any type of creator until just recently and really I really wasn't trying to do it to make any money and I plan on not making any money with YouTube anyway it's just more of a platform to advertise uh, Blue Ridge 3D printing than, than anything else I do enjoy the uh, making the content though and I love uh, the the comments that I get and, and talking with the community uh, that I'm now in so thank you so much for that uh, what I'm going to do though is show you a couple of the back screens uh, that I have. Uh, let you see, you know, what it looks like uh, to get monetized. You'll see I made a whole 31 cents, but I only made 31 cents because I turned all the ads off. Um, <clears throat> I think that the ads may slow down people from wanting to watch my videos, um, especially with a commercial at the beginning, and the middle, and the end. Um, I, I would it would break my concentration and. And, and I would just want to move on to the next video. So uh, I just removed them. And like I said, I'm not here to make money for that. So um, the other thing I'm going to talk about is where I'm at in my 3D printing business. Uh, how far along did I get in 90 days? And what have I accomplished? Um, Starting a business is not the easiest thing in the world. I mean, I, I tell everybody, you can do it, you can do it, but it's a step every day. Everything from websites to Facebook pages uh, to uh, Instagram, uh, and then l doing all the other stuff as far as the AdSense and, and in just a little bit of promotion that I have done, I've found companies that are interested in 3D printing now from furniture companies to conversion van companies and I think that this just scratching the surface and is if you can set yourself out there and let yourself be seen then people will say well you know that's a viable thing and um, they'll contact you because uh, you can save literally tens of thousands of dollars to some manufacturers that would send their parts overseas to get a mold made to have one just printed up and sent back where you would have the file and overnight and probably have the part the next day for them and just in the time saving if they wanted to go to some type of um, mold production then that's fine but as far as prototyping that's something that you can help out with and you can really make good money at doing it I, I believe that fusion itself just knowing fusion can get you sixty five dollars to hundred and twenty dollars uh, per hour and of course uh, I'd be on below that because <laughs> I've just been eight weeks into it but you got to put a little time into it to learn something in order to make any kind of uh, real profit on it so it's just a matter of getting up every day and taking that step and I'm 65 years old so I've taken a lot of steps um, <clears throat> some people are uh, encouraged that I 
just go out and take an idea and just run with it. I, I don't stop and, and wonder what if. And that's the way I've been for a long time. Uh, that that type of mentality where I, I don't let anything stand in my way. I just go ahead and do it. Um, it stemmed from being young and just getting up and going places and doing things just at a whim. Uh, so if you can be spontaneous at any time, then you can start a business. It's not that hard. And with that, um, when you start a business, you have to look for all avenues of revenue. So what you're looking for is multiple streams of revenue, especially in 3D printing, because you can't be just locked into just printing dragons or, or just printing parts. You have to be flexible to print whatever. And then if you can help by designing those things, you can make a lot more money. Some of the things that my wife and I do, because this is the channel is called with Will and Jen, and Jen does the other side of the business. Uh, she allows me to take care of all of this and the printing and uh, the fusion. She takes care of our publishing. She takes care of uh, website building, and and then she takes care of me. And that's a big job in its own. And how she's made it this long, I don't know, but. Um, the publishing part, uh, Amazon Publishing, uh, she creates coloring books uh, and just sends them up. And, you know, they sell for like 12 bucks. But if you've got 10, 20, 30 of different books uh, in the publishing part of it um, with uh, Amazon, then you can actually gain up income of six to eight hundred to thousands of dollars a month uh, just from just having a book sitting on uh, Amazon's uh, and they do print on demand so you don't have to go get a book printed up or anything you just send up the file the PDF and they do all the printing they do all the shipping they do everything and you get 60% of the of the sale now another stream from Amazon that we do is gonna be the um, associates program uh, if you look down in my description you'll see the items that I use in my studio here. And, and these are items that I use that I trust and I studied and figured out that this is the item I need to do what I do. So my camera, my lighting, my microphones, my tools, even down to my calibers um, I've listed that I got from Amazon. Um, YouTubers don't make a lot of money from YouTube. They make it from sponsorships and associate programs and stuff like that. People like you are helping us by not only watching, but when you click on one of these links down there, even though it may be for a set of calibers, and you get there and you go, that's a nice set, but I don't want to spend that much, and you see a completely different set, that's okay. Click on that one, and if you purchase it, I make 5%. Your YouTube creators make about 5% on a sale. Now, that doesn't come from you. You don't get added to 5% to the sale to do it. That's from Jeff, Jeff Bezos, who makes $3,600 a minute, I think. Uh, maybe more. I don't know. Of course, he's got a couple of XYs now, right? But um, company-wise, uh, they can afford to... to have us advertise their their product and and that's what it is even if you went down below and you bought nothing uh that i have listed and you went and bought some filament and you went and bought this or that uh, i would get a portion of that sale from commissions from the company and if you ever need anything from amazon and you're watching me Right down there is good for me. You pick up your filament and everything through there, and, and it helps my channel. It helps me get paid to do what I do. Um, so, But I'm going to show you what I've made so far off of Amazon. And, of course, I really haven't really promoted it. I haven't really said too much about it, but it, it has been listed down there. And some people have gone through. Uh, but as you can see here on my screen, it's just $10. But $10 here... $15 there, $80 over there. Before long, it all starts to add up. The same with the books. For my wife's doing the coloring books and all the other stuff that uh, little revenues uh, that she's creating in our, in our life. And these are things that really will make us money while we sleep. 
Um, so that really helps out. So you got money you're constantly making through that type of thing, and then you're doing your 3D printing in the background, and then I'm doing uh, 3D modeling uh, in my foreground. So I think that's a nice round type of business that me and my wife can kind of manage on our own in our home. And so that's what we're planning to do. So real quick, it only takes a couple minutes, I'll show you uh, greasing the screw rods on the Alagoos. Uh, it, it was really easy. I mean, I didn't have to take off the back, and I'll show you the picture of taking off the back. I, I believe there's almost 12 or 14 screws on the back, and you got to take it loose with that little tiny, that little tiny Allen wrench. And then you got to put it back together when you're done. I love bamboo, and when I got it, I thought it was just like, it's heaven, but it's sometimes like a full-dress motorcycle. You got more than you need. You just need the two wheels, right, and a motor. Brakes are optional, but you definitely need the motor. So, but anyway, here's the video, and I'll kind of tell you what I did, and we'll end it real quick. Now I had noticed that it looked a little dry when I first got the uh, Centauri carbons. Uh, so there wasn't a lot of grease on it at the beginning so it's pretty easy for us to clean them off and make them really, really look nice now. But after a few months you start seeing it turn black. That's really when you really want to start cleaning them again. Uh, the, the blacker it gets the more thicker it gets and it's harder to get off. Um, I'm using 99% alcohol to clean with and there wasn't very much residue on these so it was very easy to do. Now what we're going to use is some Lucas White Lithium Grease and I buy this on Amazon. There's a link down below. Uh, the screw tip that goes on it is printed from Bamboo Labs and you can find it under the same name uh, for the 8 ounce tube. Uh, if you get it through bamboo you're going to spend so much money. For six dollars you're going to get six little packets. Uh, for five dollars I got this whole tube of, of the white grease. Now it looks a little thick going on and what I'm doing is just pushing it into the grooves. Uh, I'm going to let the uh, screw rods um, spread it out for me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and lift up my bed and I'm going to run my bed up and down a few times uh, just to, to work it into the, the grooves of the rods. After I've done that a few times I usually will just wipe it down. But you can see here it's really getting into the into the grooves. So I'll go ahead and just wipe it down from here, uh, just taking the excess off, leaving the grease in the grooves. Uh, of course I want to wipe, wipe it as much as I can of it off because it is a, um, I went, uh, it's a contaminant uh, really. If it gets on your bill plate, nothing's going to stick to it until you take it and, and wash it with some Dawn. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my slide rods or my guide rods for the uh, heat bed and I use alcohol to clean that and then um, I'll use this lubricating uh, oil that I got from bamboo mainly because I haven't bought any more but it really doesn't need a lot on here a couple of drops and then I kinda rub it on a little bit uh, just to spread it out so it doesn't run down into the the guide and just go pass through it when cleaning the gantry you want to put the oil on your rag and rub it on and clean off the the rods that way so you don't get any of the oil onto your belts or ribbons and that's pretty much it uh, once you've done this far you're pretty much ready to go ahead and print so there you go YouTube me starting a 3d printing business learning how to use fusion 360 to make STL files uh, setting up accounts and creating revenue streams from Amazon and of course doing YouTube with you guys.
all while still doing my 40 hour a week day job. No, it's not $100,000 made in 90 days and getting monetized on YouTube. Um, my life is not that exciting, but it is a fresh start to a revenue of $100,000 per year. And you have to start with a single step. I know it say it's hard to start a business, and it is. If it was easy, everybody would have a business. But if you go in and start your business, take that first step, and then take a step every day after that, you can reach your goals. My goals have gotten reached a little sooner than I expected, especially in the YouTube category. I mean, to be monetized in under 90 days, that's a feat. And it's nothing that I did. Well, I, I, I screw up a lot. Maybe that's what you like. But it's mainly you guys sticking around and liking and subscribing. YouTube, I know what I'm printing next is one of these nice jars that we have. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to do the threads. So that's what my next video is. I'm going to try to learn how to thread. But we're going to make this jar. And it is only three circles. And it's basically the same drawing that we used last time, except we're not going to be putting a headphone stand in it. So until next time, YouTube, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. See ya.